As a local business owner, you surely understand the importance of your business being listed in what is known as the Google 3 pack. Showing up in that tiny box as a local business has become so important to drive traffic to your website that many of your competitors will use dirty tactics to rank either above you or even worse, instead of you. In this video, I'm going to show you not only how to check where your business ranks, in the Google 3 pack for the keywords you are targeting, but also how to take out dirty competitors with one scary hack so it gives you the chance to feature in the map pack and even hit the top spot so you can drive more traffic to your site, get more customers and make more money. I'm Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk where I help small business owners like you with their marketing efforts for better online visibility, step by step and click by click. If you are new to my channel, why don't you subscribe today and click the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up as it will be very helpful for me to grow my channel. An easy way to check if your business is showing in a map pack for your location is to do a search in Google for a keyword you are targeting and add your location to it. Let's imagine you are an emergency electrician and you are working in the London area and one of the keywords you are targeting is 24 hour emergency electrician. So all you need to do is add London and you will see by default it's already suggested to me. So I'm just going to select that and here is the result that you get. According to Google, those three businesses listed in a map pack are the most relevant results for that keyword. The very first listing looks highly suspicious as it includes a lot of information within its own name such as 24 hour, emergency, London, 365 and I'm very doubtful this is the actual name of the business. To verify the true name of the business just go on their website. So let's click on the website link which will take me straight to their business site. And you can see it's not actually 24 Emergency Electrician London 365, but Emergency Electrician London 365. They have spammed their business name with the extra keyword 24 hour in their Google My Business profile so they can rank for that query. Here is another example, but this time for a dentist. If I search for 24 hour Emergency Dentist London, here is the list of relevant businesses according to Google. Once again, the one that occupies the top spot looks very suspicious. 24 hour dental emergency line, King's Cross Dental doesn't sound like a genuine business name. If I check their website, you can see straight away that these guys are spamming the Google map pack big time since their actual name is King's Cross Dental. There is no mention of 24 hour emergency dental line nothing like that within their business name. This dirty tactic is totally against Google My Business's guidelines. It clearly specifies within the guidelines that whenever you enter your business name for your listing, it should be named exactly as it appears in the real world across signage, stationery and other branding. These people are spamming the Google Map Packs and taking away your chance of ranking in there legitimately. So what can you do if one of your competitors is spamming Google results in exactly the same way, preventing you from showing up in the map pack? Well, it's a lot more simpler than you may think. There's an awesome hack you can use to fight back against those spammers. Let's go back to our 24 hour dental emergency example and click on their listing. Once the listing is showing up, you can see there is a link right under the phone number that says suggest an edit. Just click on it and then you will see a pop-up which allows you to actually change the name of the business. Simply click on the change name or other details. And there you have it. You have access to the Google My Business listing where you are able to make an amendment. So these guys are actually called King's Cross Dental. Let's call them what they're supposed to be called and remove everything before that. Once you've finished updating the name, simply click on send. There you go. Google will thank you for your feedback and will also tell you that it will not directly influence the ranking of any single page. However, you can trust me, it will influence the results in a Google Map Pack. I'm just going to click on the done button and before I refresh my screen with a new result, I want you to take a look on the left hand side column where all the listings are and where this 24 hour dental emergency line 
is located is in the number one organic position right below the ads. Now I'm gonna refresh my page to see the new results and bang. Not only the business name has already been updated, but the position has shifted from one to two already. And after only a few hours, if I go back in Google and search for a 24 hour emergency dentist in London, you can see that that business is no longer featured in the Google map pack. In order to see where that business is, I'm gonna to have to go and click on the more places link at the bottom of the map pack, and I'm gonna see that business listed in position number five. And if you are one of the new businesses who has been listed instead of these spammers, then you will be very happy. And if you're not convinced this hack works, think again. I invite you to read an article put together by Joe Youngblood, who actually tested multiple businesses who had spammed their business name in order to rank higher in Google. And he found that by doing this, these businesses were able to improve their ranking position by almost 10 spots. But by removing the spammy keywords like I've just shown you, he also found that 99% of them dropped in ranking drastically. Go and see the article and see the results for yourself. So you now know how to eliminate spammy competitors, which is great. However, this process can be tedious as most of the time you are not quite sure how well your business ranks in your own location for a given keyword and how far your business visibility stretches on Google Map beyond your business postcode. Enters Local Falcon. Local Falcon is a tool I have recently discovered which is going to do exactly that and simplify this process. There is a free version for you to try out and I thoroughly recommend you open an account. I've already created a free account so I can show you exactly how this works. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna use one of my clients listing so you can see exactly how beneficial this can be for you too. From the menu, go to the map scan option and then enter your business name, the keyword you want your business to show up for, the grid size and the radius. Then click search. Within a few seconds, I can see pins dropping on the map showing me exactly what position my client ranks for in Google Maps for my keywords in that particular location. As you can see, he is number one on the entire grid for emergency electrician. Let's try another keyword, but this time look at 24 hour emergency electrician. As you can see, the results are widely different. He only has one number one position which means it will not be listed in the map pack most of the time for that keyword. So what can I do about this? First, I can stop focusing on optimizing his website for the keyword emergency electrician as he ranks very well already and instead I can concentrate my efforts on optimizing for the term 24 hours emergency electrician. The second thing I can do is look at who he is competing against by simply clicking on one of the pins on the map but not any pins. I am going to choose pins that are displaying a rank that falls just outside the map pack. That means outside the top three. I have noticed a couple of pins at number six, which means it might not take too much hard work to climb a few places if there are some of those spammers in there. So let's click on this one. Local Falcon will open a pop-up where you can see straight away which businesses are listed above yours. And once again, some of these business names look a little suspicious. To see if they are spammers, I just need to follow the same process I described at the beginning of this video. You can click on the listing straight from Local Falcon, which will open the business in a new tab. So let's verify the first one and check his website. So this guy is called London Electricians 24-7 Limited, and I just need to look at his website really that says here London Electricians 24-7 um, Limited. So I, I think it's pretty genuine uh, and it seems legitimate. I'm not even going to open his website. Let's have a look at the second one, 24-hour emergency electrician. And this one looks a little bit more suspicious. So if I look at his website, it actually says pscelectrical.com. And that's not his name that is listed on Google My Business. It says 24-hour emergency electrician. So let's double check just to make sure. And I'm going to click and open his website. And guess what? He's called PSC Electrical. So this is a typical example of another spammer. So 
let's change his name and call it what it really is as we've already done before PSC electrical and send let's now try the third one okay so yet again another spammer as you can see is called ideal electricians dot co dot uk and it's in his name he's got ideal electricians and 24 hour emergency electrician so very quickly i can edit his name again and save it as you can see this process is super quick and you can get results very very quickly you can run multiple keywords multiple locations and you should see improvement pretty quickly I'm going to rerun the same search this time. Now I've updated those two businesses to see where I stand. And as you can see, I've come from a position six to a position five. And that's just in a matter of minutes. I just wanted to add, I'm not affiliated to Local Falcon in any way, shape or form. They don't even know who I am and that I am, I've made this video. I genuinely think this is a great tool for any local business owner to become more visible in Google. I am currently using the free version for the sake of this demo, but I'm definitely going to purchase the payable option. We're done for today. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button. For any comments or questions, post them right below the video and I will respond to them. Hope to see you soon. Happy marketing.